The Ukrainian armed forces have staged a real rout of the Russian army in the area of the settlement of Belogorovka in the Seversky direction. The video of the failed Russian assault by the Russian armed forces appeared on social networks. Russian Z channels sadly report that the brigade commander of the 123rd Brigade of the 2nd Corps of the LPR with the call sign Kashtan destroyed several battalions of the Russian army in a poorly planned assault. In the wake of the Russian army's massive losses near Belogorovka, indignation is growing in military telegram channels and propaganda channels in Russia. According to reports, the unprepared assault in the Seversk direction led to heavy losses, causing a wave of criticism of the actions of the Russian command. The videos published by the Ukrainian armed forces show how the Russian army, unsupported by fire, suffered significant losses among personnel and equipment. Several battalions were completely destroyed, which caused strong indignation even among Z channels, which usually support Russian actions. An offensive without fire support doomed the attack to failure. We suffered huge losses in tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, many fighters were killed, even more were wounded. One of the reports emphasized, it is also reported that the Russian command left wounded soldiers on the battlefield without organizing their evacuation. Five days have passed since the end of hostilities, and many of the wounded have died without receiving medical care. Major Russian military telegram channels criticize the command, pointing out that this failure was inevitable due to the unpreparedness of the attack and the lack of support. Recall units of the 10th Separate Mountain Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces repelled a large mechanized assault by Russians in the Donetsk region. The Russian assault consisted of 22 units of combat equipment, including tanks at the head of the columns, as well as tracked and wheeled armored personnel carriers with personnel inside. These columns were promptly detected by aerial reconnaissance of the 10th Brigade, which in a short time deployed all means to destroy enemy equipment. At first, to stop the enemy assault, the brigade used FPV drones, which successfully hit Russian equipment, including armored personnel carriers. When the infantry began to leave the damaged vehicles, drones with grenades began to operate on their cluster, causing significant losses in personnel. According to aerial reconnaissance estimates, the Russians involved about 120 soldiers in the assault. To defeat and destroy heavy equipment, the Ukrainian armed forces used anti-tank missile systems, which hit several enemy combat vehicles, including tanks. Also, the advancing enemy columns were covered with artillery, which helped stop them on the approach to the Ukrainian armed forces' positions. Overall, thanks to high-quality preparation for defensive actions, they managed to destroy 15 armored vehicles, including six tanks and nine infantry fighting vehicles. The enemy's losses among manpower amounted to 19 killed and 23 wounded. Ukrainian paratroopers spoke about the operation to clear the settlement of Malaya Lakhmia in the Kursk region of Russia from Russian military personnel. The paratroopers said that they attacked the settlement with martyr armored fighting vehicles and tanks, and that the Russian military personnel there were hiding in the territory of the women's colony. The paratroopers, who attacked the colony with armored vehicles and supported by drones, destroyed the invaders there and took full control of the settlement.
footage of North Korean soldiers training in the Kursk region of Russia has been released. The North Korean military in the Kursk region are undergoing mine explosive training under the supervision of Russian instructors. It is reported that the exercises with the military of Kim Jong-un in the Kursk region were extended for two more days. They say that one of the DPRK soldiers has already died. He has been shot by DPRK soldiers at training. One Russian soldier claimed that the Koreans mistakenly shot the Russians. In his nightly address, President Volodymyr Zelensky of Ukraine seemed to confirm that North Korean forces had entered the fight, and he called on Ukraine's allies to assist in confronting this new threat. The first battles with North Korean soldiers mark a new chapter of global instability, he said. Together with the world, we must do everything to ensure that this Russian step toward expanding the war, this true escalation, becomes a loss.